It is the final day of the WNBA regular season. Game 40 for all 12 teams around the W tonight. And unlike last year, DRS, eight of the 12 teams mm -hmm. making the postseason, we had four of those teams sub-500. It's more competitive basketball here throughout the WNBA campaign in 2024. We will show you what is at stake for the playoff seeding tonight in all of those clinching scenarios where seven of the eight teams have already clinched a playoff spot and not much of the seeding even among the top six really can change. What is at stake is a battle between three organizations for the eighth and final playoff spot around the W. It's the Atlanta Dream, the Chicago Sky, and the Washington Mystics all battling for that third and final spot. So here are the games. A six-way header. What, mm. How do you say six? Is it sestuplet? Centuplet? You know, if we're trying to do like Sextuplet? quadruple, triple header? What is it? Sextuplet? I, I think I maybe, okay. yeah. Anyway, six games tonight for the WNBA final day of the regular season on this Thursday. So pay attention to some of these spreads in what is at stake. It is sex tuplet. Sex tuplet. That doesn't feel right saying it out of my mouth, to be honest with you. Anyway, the Connecticut ah, Sun, 13 and a half point home favorite against the Chicago Sky. The New York Liberty, only a point favorite against the Dream. Why? We're not expected, or a point underdog, excuse me. We're not expected to see many starters for New York, as the Liberty already have clinched the top overall spot in the WNBA standings entering the postseason. Home for advantage throughout and the Dream need a win to get in to the playoffs. The Mystics, two-point home favorite against Indiana. The Fever, their first playoff berth since 2016. They've already clinched the number six seed based on tiebreakers with Phoenix. The Lynx, three-and-a-half-point home favorite against the Sparks, who have already been eliminated. The Aces, two-point home underdog DRS in a very difficult place to go into and win. Michelob Ultra Arena there on the strip. But Dallas... Even against Dallas, who is out of postseason consideration, that is intriguing. And the Storm take on the Mercury tonight as well. Those are the six games. We'll tell you the playoff scenarios in just a moment. I'll tell you, the worst case scenario, too, and again, you do this to yourself as a basketball team, but if you're scoreboard watching out there and you go, all right, awesome. The Dream got to play the Liberty, the best team in the WNBA. It's like, well, hold on now. The Dream are going to play the Liberty on their home court and probably walk away with a victory because the other team isn't playing here. You did it to yourself. But theoretically, if both of those teams were saying, okay, we both want to win this game, the Dream probably get blown off the court. So shame on you if right. you're scoreboard watching and you feel like you were wrong. Maybe you should have won a game or two earlier in the season where you didn't have to scoreboard watch tonight. So that's the takeaway. But I do like the fact that everybody's playing tonight and there still is something up for grabs. It's nice. But also, also, the teams that like the Liberty can clinch that number one seed. They've earned every right to sit everybody in this game and just get ready for the postseason. So when you look at the odds, again, it should tell you a story. Let's start with the top. Connecticut, 13 and a half point home favorite. Are the Sun tonight? They're a game in front of the Aces for what is the difference in the three to four spot on the standings. Why is that interesting? Chicago needs a victory to get into the postseason. Yeah. And unlike the Aces being a home dog and the Liberty being a slight home underdog, Connecticut is a hefty 13-and-a-half point favorite. They are trying to hold off Las Vegas for that better seed line as they have lost all three games to the Aces this year. If the Sun were to lose and the Aces were to win, Las Vegas would get the three spot, Connecticut the four, based on tiebreaker. That could be intriguing for home floor advantage throughout the postseason and your matchups as you go. I don't know if you want the three spot, though, because you're going to take on Indiana in the fever are absolutely booming as we go through the end of this year. Here is what is at stake clinching scenarios for that eighth and final spot. The dream, the mystics in the sky, all in the running. Atlanta win. They are in all three of those teams lose. The dream also make it. The Mystics win, the Dream and the Sky both lose. Somehow, someway, Atlanta still earns the final playoff spot. Mm -hmm. Washington and Chicago win, the Dream lose, Washington gets in. The Sky win, the Dream and the Sticks lose, Chicago gets in. The Sky have dropped four games in a row. They've lost four or five since Angel Reese announced that she would be out for the rest of the year with a wrist injury. She had surgery about a week and a half ago. 
Yeah, it looks like it's going to be – it's tough, too, because you figured that we wanted the sky in there to make sure we got that superstar power energizing the playoffs here. But it's just a bad break there. No pun intended at that point for Angel Reese. Hopefully she comes back next year stronger. But also, we're waiting to see what the Fever have, man. Is this one of those teams that said, you know what, we're rested now after that Olympic break. Caitlin Clark's playing great basketball. What damage can they do in the playoffs? The one thing we know, Ben, we'll be watching. We will be watching. The Mountain of the South joins us next.